Alright, today I'm going to read the page about some fossils. And then after the story, I'll show you part of my museum. Now you may see some of these, like, on here in my museum. I don't know if I even have any, but let's just get into the video. So today I wanted to read you something in the book, if I can find out where they have it. Okay, fossil giants. Feet, I mean feet of foot. This Cretaceous dinosaur, his Rupudon grew up to about six feet to six and two meters long. It was probably agile and swift and has been compared with the modern jazz style. Well, egg. I mean, this time we're just going to do King of the Dinosaurs. King of the Dinosaurs. Perhaps the most famous of the all dinosaurs and one of the last was Tyrannosaurus. This was the, the largest meat-eating animal ever to live on land. It was about 49 feet, 14 meters long from head to tail. Its sharp pointed teeth seen in the skull. Oh, one sec, I forget. Skull or oh, a clear indication that was that it was a, a meat eater, possibly some time scavenging the tail. Wait. The voices of the dead dinosaurs. The very few specimens of the Tyrannosaurus have been no, have all, have have all been found, and there is some doubt about the exact structure of the powerful dinosaur tail and the function of the tiny forms. Um, uh, the skull's teeth were short pointed teeth up to 7 and uh, 18 uh, millimeters long. I'll show you what. So, if you look right um, here, this is the T Rex skull. Now, you'll see that a lot in museums. Um, if you're in the Chicago and haven't went to the Field Museum, that's definitely a place where you could see uh, T. Rex there and some of its relatives. Now I'm going to do the rare egg one. I do know that you'll see probably a piece of that at the end of the video. Fragments of broken dinosaur eggs are fairly common. But complete eggs are rare. This Protoceratops egg was found in Magnolia in the 1920s and was part of the first evidence that dinosaurs laid eggs. You'll see that right here. And then uh, I'm gonna read the last. Thing and then the next time I'll read the first page before that, which is the part one of Fossil Giants. Okay, now, with knee bones, there was a huge variation in size between different species of dinosaurs. One of the largest brachiosaurs weighed about 54 tons, as much as 14 large elephants. Well, the smallest were the size of a chicken. To illustrate size variation, 
the female upper leg bone of a hip, wait, hypocelodon, no, about 4 in the 10 centimeters long. Is there a heel uh, placed on the equivalent bone of uh, an apatosaurus about six feet six and uh, two meters long. Now you might have seen this big brown thing. That would be uh, also a fossil. Um, I'll show you now my uh, museum section. So over here you'll see my fossils and uh, gemstones and uh, you'll even see your know, probably some cat teeth and uh, some cool stones and a button that wasn't probably ancient but I found it like in the dot. And then uh, if you head over here, I um, might need to, one sec, I need to put this down so I can show you guys some more. You'll start to see my uh, your fossils. Now you'll see a trilobite, which you will see right here. Now I have my laboratory right over here. You'll be able to go here. Well, like each time I'm walking right there. But that was pretty much the whole museum. So if you guys ever want me to do a part two, um, let's try and hit at least 50 likes because, uh, I don't know if you guys could do a hundred. So, I'll see you next time. Bye.